Hello, this is David Mandel and this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about Linux distributions. Um, first thing, if you um, search for Linux distros under Google you'll get um, well two million hits. So you've got a lot of choice of a lot of sites to go to. Um, the first site I'm going to start with here is uh, Wikipedia. It's just simply Linux distributions. Uh, well, up here, it's uh, just simply Linux distributions on Wikipedia. And this has a nice little overview of Linux distributions. Remember what a Linux distribution is. Well, remember, at some level, Linux is nothing but a lot of open source software sitting on the um, um, floating on the internet and somebody's got to sort through all this stuff, get the Linux kernel and get a lot of applications and put it together in a coherent package, um, document it, make it in point in also to do quality assurance because a lot of the stuff out there is not really that good and a lot of it is terrific so somebody's got to do quality assurance and that's the job of an editor. In the case of open source software, we call these distribution makers. Um, in the case of our news media, we call it channels or networks or shows or newspapers or magazines. And it's editors and publishers that put this together. In the case of Linux, it's distributors. Um, this Basically, this website basically tells you a little bit about uh, distributions, the way they're made. It tells you a little bit about the history of distributions, some of the early distributions. Some of these I've never heard of, actually. The first distribution I ever used was uh, this one here, Soft Landings Distribution. Uh, from Soft Landing Software, it's a group of people or a small company or was up in uh, Vancouver, BC and um, they put together a pretty cool distribution. It was buggy but man it was marvelous at the time and then the next distribution to come along that, that I tried was uh, this one here and I can't pronounce its name. This was done by some people in the southwest in New Mexico, Arizona, something like that. And <clears throat> not long after that uh, Patrick Volkering um, came out with Slackware and Slackware was a marvelous improvement I used it for quite a few years. I've gone on and used, I use other distributions today. Haven't used Slackware in a long time, but it's still around and it's still quite a respectable distribution. Over here we have kind of a map of distributions and their origins, which I've, I've taken here and I've kind of blown it up so we can see it. And you will see there are thousands, well hundreds of distributions and um, this is kind of a map on their origin. All of these distributions up in this area basically have their origins in Ubuntu. Um, if you go down further you'll see that Ubuntu itself has its origins within the Debian distribution uh, which is a popular distribution to this day uh, and many 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 distributions come out of the Debian heritage of distributions. Um, over here we have some of the early distributions um, which um, many of which died and didn't didn't continue on. Um, down in here someplace we have the Slackware distributions and um, all the distributions that came out of Slackware I believe um, I believe you'll see the Seuss family of distributions down here um, and OpenSUSE and, and all of those. Um, another big family of distributions is the Red Hat family of distributions. This was an early distribution like, like uh, Slackware and, and SUSE. Um, and many, many distributions have come out of this 
um, out of the Red Hat family of distributions, including Fedora, which is basically the open source version of, of uh, Red Hat. Um, OK. With that, let's go into, um, uh, there's another Wikipedia um, site called Distribution Comparison. And this is just um, a set of nice little tables that compare various distributions. And if you're looking for something to read, you know, it, it's worth going through. It's kind of uh, enlightening. And, um, you know, take all of this with a grain of salt. You don't have to read it in much detail. but at some point, you might want to read some of this. Um, kind of the mother of distribution sites is a site, a website that just follows distributions called distrowatch.com. And uh, distrowatch.com has always been kind of a messy site, but it does a good job tracking distributions. And they've actually improved a good deal from the way they used to look. Uh, one of the interesting things on uh, this site is over on the right hand side, if you go far enough down, you will see a uh, list of distributions. And what this is is sort of a page ranking. It goes by page hits that all the uh, these distribution sites have. And you'll see up here among the really popular distributions is Ubuntu. Um, Linux Mint, which is really a pretty new distribution, hasn't been around very long, um, but um, it's supposed to be extremely friendly, even more friendly than Ubuntu, and um, I'm going to try it one of these days. I've never tried it. Um, Fedora is up in there, which is the open source equivalent of, or um, variant of Red Hat. Debian, uh, OpenSUSE, um, um, CentOS, well, you'll see a lot of distributions. It's kind of fun just to look through here. And you can kind of get an idea of what distributions are popular or aren't. Well, here's FreeBSD. FreeBSD, of course, is not a Linux distribution. It's a um, operating system in its own right. And it's actually got its own distributions of FreeBSD, kind of. They don't call them distributions, but uh, one of those is called PCBSD. I do use PCBSD some. It's it's pretty nice. Um, um, and I kind of recommend at some point, if you get a chance to load FreeBSD or PCBSD or some other uh, non-Linux Unix so that you get a chance to see just how they vary. Oh, here's Nopix here, which is a distribution I like a great deal. It's more of a specialty distribution. Um, OK, well, that gives you, you know, an idea. Dragonfly. Dragonfly is another BSD Linux. It's not really a, Unix, uh, a Linux distribution. Um, but it's good, and it's open source. Um, and it's cool. Um, OK. Let's go on to another site here. Uh, this is the site that DistroWatch has for, this is their link to top, 10 top distributions. It's their idea of who the twin top distributions are. And we'll just go through this so you get an idea of what they are, um, of well-known distributions. Uh, Ubuntu is, most people claim Ubuntu at this time is kind of the lead distribution in terms of downloads and things like that. Now, in terms of big companies using Linux in the back room, I doubt that that's Ubuntu. I think that's probably either um, some Red Hat variant like Fedora or Red Hat Enterprise or some SUSE variant like um, uh, OpenSUSE or, or uh, SUSE Enterprise. Um, I can't tell you for sure, but I don't, I think uh, Ubuntu is more popular among um, uh, home users and um, um, small businesses, which means lots of hits. And, you know, I've gotten business doing work with Ubuntu, so uh, it's a good distribution. Um, Linux Mint, as I say, is a newer distribution. I don't have much experience with it. I've got a copy of the current one that I intend on loading one of these days. Um, 
Fedora, well, we're familiar with Fedora. That's the distribution that comes with your book. Or you can download the newer one. I believe the newest Fedora is Fedora 15, whereas the one with our book is Fedora 13. But Fedora 13 is new enough. It's fine distribution if you don't want to download the newest one. Debian is a true, complete open source. They are the most true to the open source idea. Um, it was founded by Ian Murdoch, and I believe it's called Debian because his girlfriend was Debbie. So it was Deb Ian. Um, and um, many distributions are based on Debian, and a lot of people use Debian the way it is. It is known to be a little bit harder than some distributions um, without quite as good of user interface. But hey, I use Debian. I like it. it, it it's, it's a good distribution. Um, and, um, and it's got a lot of variants, many, many, many variants, in, um, including Ubuntu, um, Nopix, um, uh, yeah. OpenSUSE. OpenSUSE is an older distribution, goes back to 1992. Um, sometimes it's had a misnomer of being the German distribution, and that, that's really wrong. Yes, it's based in Nuremberg, Germany, um, but it's. Um, it's a good all-purpose distribution. It comes out of the fam Slackware family of distributions. And um, um, it uses the RPM ma package manager that was developed by Red Hat, um, which probably is not quite as good as the Debian package manager, but it is a fine package manager. And um, it, it's a good comp in many ways. It's um, fairly easy to install, fairly easy to use, maybe not quite as much as, say, Ubuntu. Um, I think it's a good compromise on, on, on many things. I like it a lot. Um, Arch Linux, I don't have much personal um, experience with, um, and um, so I can't say too much about it. I didn't even realize it was among the top ten. Um, PC Linux OS, um, I'm a little more familiar with it, but not very familiar with it. I've never used it. Um, CentOS is a um, Red Hat variant. Um, it comes out of the Red Hat Fedora family of distributions. It's widely used in this. Um, it's, it's not used a whole lot in, uh, by general Linux users, but it's widely used in the scientific community. Um, the people that build these big, fast clusters of computers, like the fastest 500 computers in the world, use an awful lot of CentOS. Um, if you're looking for supercomputers and, and work in that area, CentOS is used a great deal. Um, this is a distribution I've never really um, heard of, or at least I'm not at all familiar with it. Um, apparently, it comes out of the Mandrake family of distributions. Mandrake was a French distribution that was really popular for a short time and then died. And actually, I've got several friends that worked for Mandrake when they went um, out of business. <laughs> and uh, one of them was like in Vietnam pitching Mandrake and they just got a telephone call saying, you're no longer employed with us. <laughs> I hope they paid his way home, but uh, yeah. Um, OK, Slackware is, we talked about Slackware earlier. It's a good distribution. Whoops, we are out of time here. Uh, time for a cup of coffee. <laughs>